We have just landed in our home country of South Africa and since we've been traveling the world for over three years we will be seeing our home with a fresh pair of eyes. My parents will be joining us on this trip. Are you ready? And we will be diving into the African culture, seeing the wonders of the world. South Africa has a feeling like no other. I'm already smiling from here to here. And we are going to be experiencing that on our first African series on our channel. We are starting off right here in the mother city. It's going to be an adventure of a lifetime. Welcome to South Africa. Can't believe I am back in my home country. And it's so crazy that everything kind of feels different. It feels like I'm a tourist in my own country. And yet I've lived here for over 20 years. So since we've been traveling Southeast Asia for over three years, we've been to seven countries already. And after being in icy cold South Korea, coming to very hot South Africa, we had such an emotional reunion coming back home. This is the moment we're about to see our parents for the first time in three years. Well, my heart is racing. <laughs> I honestly don't know how to feel. I'm. My heart is like in my throat right now. I just want to see my brother. I haven't seen my parents in three years. And we're getting... Oh, see them! <laughs> oh my god. And our hometown is actually Johannesburg, but we decided to come to Cape Town because it's known as the mother city. And I'm super grateful that my parents are going to be joining us on this trip. They're going to be showing us the beauty of Cape Town, which is also one of our capitals here in South Africa. Cape Town is on the southwestern tip of Africa. It's a coastal city where the ocean meets the mountains. And I'm so excited to show you what our country has to offer because we have so many different types of people. We actually have 11 official languages and that just gives you an idea how vibrant and colorful our country really is. just feels insane like all the memories are coming back from our childhood so we're gonna make our way through here we're gonna see what the vibe is like the energy as we do in every single country that we visit but now we get to do it in our own see what the energy is like in our home country why is it a rainbow it's a rainbow because the rainbow, it's a rainbow nation, nation. Yeah. <laughs> And the rainbow family as well. Exactly. Love it. She can play? Yes! We are the rainbow! We are the rainbow! You were so good, you were the best. Yeah man, I, I'm, I'm still the best, I'm telling you. <laughs> not me. You're all the best. Family. We need to keep that thing of unity. No exactly. racism, no what what, no color. We are all one human being. You can keep it, we, you can have the money. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Thank you. Wow, I couldn't believe I've just experienced that in my own country. It was such a vibe. The people are amazing and you can just feel the energy through the music, through the people, the smiles are contagious. I'm already smiling from here to here. I love this place. Okay, before I even tell you where I am, can we just take a moment and look at what I am seeing right now. We are standing at the bottom of Table Mountain. We are actually going to go right up to the top with the cable car. A giant gondola that takes about 65 people all the way up to the top. It's about a two and a half minute ride. And 
from what I can see, the line is over three hours long, which means it's such a good tourist attraction. It's actually the number one thing you should do while you're here in Cape Town. And let me tell you why it's called Table Mountain, because it's got a significantly distinct tabletop right at the top of the mountain. And it's one of the first things you can see when you enter Cape Town. It's the most distinctive landmark that we have. So one of the other famous landmarks right next to Table Mountain is called Lion's Head, which is just behind us, which we're going to climb tomorrow morning bright and early. The peak of that mountain kind of looks like the lion's head and then you can see all the way down it reaches out and that's kind of like the lion's body. Altogether it looks like a lion that's lying down and the reason I'm in a hoodie is because it is so hot right now. The African sun is a little bit different to the Asian sun that we've been experiencing in Thailand and the Philippines and Vietnam. We are a little bit biased in saying this is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. If you come here you'll believe me. Well you can see. You'll see for yourself. 100%. Look at this. Let's ask these people how long they've been waiting for. Hello. Hello. How long have you been waiting for? We've been here for an about hour and, an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Wow. Is it worth it? Absolutely. <laughs> It's worth it, okay. From the locals themselves, it's worth it. <laughs> As we're walking through, there are all these tourist buses, and here is the beautiful bus. <laughs> Move bus! Move bus! <laughs> Come on! Ooh, it is a vibe! Wow. It is busy in here! So, this is the line. We're walking all the way to the end of the line, and I think it's about three hours. Yes, we love our country so much. When you leave and come back, you realize there's nothing like South Africa. Yes, there's no place like South Africa. Yes, she's right. Yes, she's right. What language do you speak? We speak this so tall. So how do we say hello? In our language. Thank you for teaching us. If someone has never been to South Africa, why should they come here? There's no need for you to stay where you are. Please come to our country. There are lots, lots of things, yes. Lots of attractive places to go to. And the best people. Exactly. The, best the, best people. people. the best people. The best people. Energy. Energy like Always welcoming, always friendly. Uh, we love and the best food. Yeah. This lady knows. What do you recommend? What is that? Tribe. 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 And chicken feet. Yeah. Chicken feet. Masonja. Masonja. What is that? The worms. Ah, like my pony worms. Ah, my pony worms. Thank you, ladies. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. So this is our first video that we are doing here in South Africa. We do have another one showing a completely different side. And then we're actually going to visit another African country coming up soon. Water. Water. Make sure you subscribe for the Africa series starting now. After almost three hours waiting, we're finally making our way up to the top to where the cable car starts its journey. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We're in. We're in. Are you ready? Welcome to Table Mountain Aerial Cableway. For your own safety, kindly step away from the sides. Let go of the silver handbars as the floor you are standing on will be rotating. Yeah. We're going to be at the height of 1,067 meters. How are you doing? 
good. I was not scared at all. We're here. We finally made it to the top of Table Mountain. Once you get to the top, the views on either side, you've got a 360 degree view of just pure perfection. There are 8,200 different species of plants. You can walk all around the top. There's some restaurants, there's some bars. So I don't know if you can see, over there is Robert Island, where Nelson Mandela spent the majority of his prison sentence. I think about 18 out of the 27 years. I can't help but feel lucky and proud to be a South African. All the people that we've met, the beautiful natural landmarks that we have is just one of a kind. I highly recommend you come here, see it for yourself. And if you are a South African, you should should be proud of where you come from. Devin's losing his mind. This cream soda can only get here and we haven't been able to have it for three years in Southeast Asia so this is a big deal. What does it taste like? Like South Africa. <laughs> what a way to have lunch. We're so lucky to have a perfect day, no clouds, to be with our family. Bad <laughs> After a well-deserved lunch after that massive three-hour break, we really enjoyed our time taking in the views of this natural wonder. Table Mountain is one of the new seven natural wonders of the world and it is a sight that cannot be missed when you're in Cape Town. That afternoon, we took a short drive in our newly rented car to the bottom of Signal Hill to soak in more of that African sun and the views, of course, before a big adventure tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is bright and early. It's about six in the morning. We are with my parents right now and we are going to <laughs> push my parents up this mountain. It's going to take about an hour, but the views are insane. We will see the sea, the mountains, the city. It's going to be epic. Are you ready for this? I'm already at work. <laughs> are you guys ready? Mm. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. <laughs> How are the energy levels this morning? Still sleepy. Uh, <laughs> we need <Yeah>. coffee. <laughs> coffee. <Yeah. laughs> For most of you, this might seem like just an ordinary hike, but it's way more than what meets the eye. This particular hike involves a lot of ladders, death-defying cliffs, and loads and loads of rocks and climbing. And for those of you who are afraid of heights, like my mom, this might seem like an adventure bigger than what you bargained for. Mom, you're gonna go all the way up to the top there. How do you feel about that? I haven't climbed a mountain before. But I'm looking forward to it. It could be very exciting. Wow, the vibes are immaculate. Let's go. Wow, look behind you. How beautiful. We're walking right next to Table Mountain, which is right behind us. But right now the cloud is covering over that and we call that the tablecloth. So you can actually see the tablecloth moving over the mountain. This walk that we're going to do, you kind of have to circle round just to get all the way to the top. Let's just enjoy the hike. If we're feeling tired, don't quit. Keep going. It'll be worth it when we get to the top. Do a little hop. <laughs> He's going for it. Look at them. Oh, they're ahead. We need to catch up. Quick. Ooh. I'm pumped. I'm ready. I'm tired. <laughs> I keep thinking this is the most beautiful country in the world. I actually get a little emotional that we live here and this is what we did when we lived here. We used to climb Lion's Head, the two of us, <laughs> when we were on holiday. We just feel so immensely proud that we can come back here and showcase the beauty of our country to you and I hope that you visit because come visit it's us. just <laughs> amazing. The energy here, the views. I think we need to eat more veggies. We're out of breath. We've only done about 10 minutes of walking. The vibes and the energy that we get from everyone that walks past us greets us. Morning. 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 South Africa. We, oh, so the mountain that we're climbing is called Lion's Head, but the locals call it Lion's Head in Cape Town. Ours a brew. Yeah. Bra later. Yeah. Check you later. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Cheers. <laughs> That's where we gotta be. 
This is where we are. Hey! Morning! Now the stairs start. It's not just a gradual incline anymore, but this is the best part for me because we have the mountain on the right and then we have the beautiful ocean on the left. You can actually hear the waves hitting the shore and the rocks below. What I love is as you make your way around the mountain, your views are changing. So you're getting different parts of the city the whole way around. I was asking, oh, Victoria, thank you so much. <coughs> this part gets a little bit more tricky. We're kind of on the edge of this cliff, but we still have the most beautiful view, rock on this side. So we need to kind of watch our step. You can look at the distance where the cars are parked and where we've climbed. That's where we started. Our car's one of those ones over there. <laughs> That's where we started. This is where we are. Did Dad already bug that? Oh, Ooh, did I? I'm actually so proud of my mom because she's really afraid of heights. <laughs> but she is conquering this mountain step at a time. And it's just amazing because so many people just kind of give up at the end. But she is still going. Doing it for Shiv and Deb. <laughs> do it for the vlog. You have to do it when you have adventurous kids. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. There you go. You're conquering this fear. Well done. Well done. Proud Ooh, of you. Awesome. <laughs> Woo! Thank you for the support. <laughs> Your mom is a champion. Never quit. Sure. Read Devon shirt. The only thing I quit is smoking. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> the, vibes. the vibes are so good. The energy is so high. Good morning. Morning, morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. This is an awesome experience. <laughs> that is nothing. What is that thing? That thing. We didn't struggle at all. Not at all. <laughs> well done, team. <laughs> Last stretch to the top. So we've made it to this plateau, but then we still have this little peak to go. Little peak. Up there. Giant peak. It'll be worth it. It's so windy. <laughs> so if you can see all the way down there, there's a blue shirt. That's Jamal's mom. She did so well. She we're made doing, it. We're doing this final stretch. She's waving. Oh, come on. Oh. Don't stop for love. Yummy, <laughs> buddy. Oh. oh, he's cute. Yay. Yes. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. Last final steps, so we make it to the top. <laughs> we made it. Ending off this hike felt way more emotional than what we thought. When we left South Africa in 2020, we were not YouTubers or video makers. And now that we've come back a whole three years later, we found a new appreciation for spending more quality time with our parents and rediscovering our own country. This is the Africa we have always wanted to see. And in the next video, we are heading out of the city and on safari. So make sure you subscribe for that and we'll see you in the next video.